Let's have a look at the theorem of Pythagoras and some calculations that go with that. The theorem of Pythagoras applies to a 90 degree triangle and you would know that in a 90 degree triangle we have two short sides and one long side. The long side is always opposite the 90 degree angle and the name for this is the hypotenuse. The way that I remember it is to think of a big hypotenuse on the longest side. So the biggest side is the hypotenuse. Pythagoras found that when you square the short side of a 90 degree triangle and add it to the short side squared of the other side of the triangle, that this will equal the hypotenuse. So in picture format, it will look like this. If we had to draw a square on the short side and a square on the other short side, then the area of both squares together would equal the hypotenuse squared. Let's look at some examples of this. So here we have two famous Pythagoras triangles. They're also called Pythagoras triplets. And if we want to calculate the hypotenuse in each case, we would have to do the following. The long method of working out the first one would be to say 3 squared plus 4 squared. This will give us 9 plus 16, which equals to 25. But remember, 25 is the area squared, meaning that I have to square root 25 to obtain an answer of 5. A shorter way of writing this would be to put the whole calculation in a square root sign and then work it out in one go. So on your calculator within the square root sign, you can type 3 squared plus 4 squared and this will give an answer immediately of 5. Now let's do the same for the blue triangle. 6 squared plus 8 squared gives me 36 plus 64. These added together will give me 100 and the square root of 100 equals 10. Once again, the short method of doing this would be to say 6 squared plus 8 squared so and everything is in the square root sign and this will give us an answer of 10 straight away. Let's put this in context. Say for example you have a lighthouse that's on a cliff. So the cliff has a height of 50 meters and the a light tower has a height of 8 meters and there's a ship 150 meters out in the sea, then what is the distance between the ship and the top of the lighthouse? So we can use Pythagoras to work this out. And we are going to say 58 meters squared, because remember it's 50 and 8 together, the cliff and the lighthouse, plus 150 meters squared, which the ship is away. And if I add these together, I get an amount of 25,864. Square root this amount, and we will find that they are a distance of 160,82 meters apart. Okay, so now what if you are given the hypotenuse and one of the short sides, but need to find the other short side? So how would I work that out? I can say 24 squared plus something squared equals 30 squared. So having to do that in reverse will mean instead of plus, I need to minus. So I can say 30 squared minus 24 squared. And if I work that out, I get 324. Square root of 324 is 18. Once again, if you would like to do this in a shorter way, you can put it in the square root sign from the start. So within the square root sign, you will say 30 squared, subtract 24 squared, and that will give you 18 straight away. So working backwards when you have the hypotenuse can also be applied to a context. So for example, if I have a ladder that's five meters long, and I put it against a building and I put the base of it 3.3 meters away from the building, then how high can this ladder reach? So my calculation will be 5 squared minus 
3 comma 3 squared and if you subtract it it gives you 14.11 do not forget to square root that and if I do I get an answer of 3 comma 76 meters high once again the short method here would be to say 5 squared minus 3.3 squared and you will get 3.76 just by doing one step sometimes we can also get compound shapes where we have either two triangles together or a square or a rectangle together with a triangle and in this case it's important to break the shape up into different parts so always start in the triangle that has the most information or in the shape that has the most information and in this yellow triangle um, it has the left side that has two given sides and if it has two given sides it means we can find the third side so in this triangle we are given the hypotenuse and we are given one of the short sides so we can find the other short side which means this is a subtraction question so 25 squared subtract 7 squared and this will give me an answer of 24 centimeters which in this case is the line OP so now in my second triangle that I'm working in I have the height and I have the hypotenuse again and I am missing the short side at the bottom here so once again we're going to do a subtraction question where I say 30 squared minus my answer from the previous one 24 squared and this gives me an answer of 18 centimeters so by going through Pythagoras twice we can get the answer that they require here at the bottom now let's do the same for the shape on the side in this one it looks like a funny trapezium shape but we can break it up into a square and or a rectangle and a triangle so starting with a rectangle let's see what information we have we can see that the top is seven centimeters meaning that the bottom will also be seven centimeters this side is four meaning this side is also four and then if up to here it is seven centimeters it means that this little missing part in the triangle would be three centimeters since three and seven together makes ten so in the triangle I'm missing the hypotenuse so if I want the hypotenuse it means I'm going to do an addition question which means within my square root sign I'm going to say four squared plus three squared you might recognize these two numbers it will give me five centimeters and that is Pythagoras in a nutshell